Welcome to our prayers for Sunday the 15th of August and we begin with the words of the 130th Psalm. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Lift your ears to be attentive to, the cry for mer to my cry for mercy. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are to be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I put my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen wait for the morning, more than watchmen wait for the morning. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love. With him and his full redemption, he himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. Amen. And then we read from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 7, and reading from verse 41. At this, the Jews began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. I tell you the truth, he who believes has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your forefathers ate the manna in the desert and yet they died. But here is the bread that came down from heaven, which a man may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give up for the life of the world. Amen. Thanks be to God for his word to us. Let us now pray for other people. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for all the gifts, all those gifts that satisfy and sustain us, that bring us joy and life and hope, gifts that we share and talents with one another. We give you thanks for all who labour to provide for us, for those who work in agriculture. Also remember for many people who work throughout the world, often work can still be very tedious or hard or dangerous, affecting people's lives and health. We pray for all those who work in industries, factories, for the ecologists who work to conserve our countryside, protect the rainforests, and help us understand how we impact the world on which we live. Lord, we are also very aware of the destruction of the beauty and the deface of the earth on which we live. Remember all those whose lives are caught up in living areas of poverty in the world, whose dwellings are slums and miss out on so much of the beauty and the talents and the gifts of this earth. We pray, Lord, for those who are deprived of work, the unemployed, those who see their jobs or homes being lost or taken away from them, for those who continue to live in areas that are ravaged by war and therefore their lives are, are blighted by greed of others, for those who live in areas where the harvests have failed and they are hungry. 
and we pray for all those who we know today who are unwell, who are in need of our prayers in hospital or in a hospice, those who care for those who are unwell and ill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we pray for those who we know and love who have passed from this life, but now share in the heavenly banquet. And as we think of them and pray for them and our families, we bring all our prayers and thoughts together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit go with us. And the blessing of God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and forevermore. Amen.